Hi, this is Dr. Dave Scardella from Center for Progressive Dentistry in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Today, I wanted to demonstrate the importance of using 3D technology when planning dental implants. Our office integrated this technology almost three years ago, and we use it for every implant procedure we do. It allows for safer, more accurate, and more predictable dental implant treatment. First, let me explain what a 3D x-ray is. The proper term is cone beam computed tomography or CBCT. It's basically the dental version of a CAT scan, but with much lower doses of radiation. For example, a full 3D x-ray using our ultra low dose settings exposes the patient to less radiation than a cross country flight from New York to Los Angeles. This equates to approximately six routine digital dental x-rays that you're used to taking. While CBCT technology can be used for other applications in the dental office, most commonly it's used prior to placing a dental implant. The trouble with traditional two-dimensional x-rays is that you can only see height and width, but you can't see depth. And when evaluating important nerves and blood vessels uh, that run throughout the oral cavity with 2D x-rays, you're basically making an educated guess as to where these structures are. With CBCT, there is no guesswork. The structures of the jawbone, teeth, nerves, sinuses, and their corresponding heights, widths, and depths can all be seen from multiple angles. This gives the doctor infinitely more knowledge about where to place the implant, what size to use, how dense the jawbone is, and other valuable information. This short video will show you how I evaluate a typical dental implant patient. All right, so let's take a look at an actual case. This is a patient who came in and she had broken her front tooth off at the gum line. And we're gonna treatment plan her for a dental implant. So you can see from our 3D reconstruction, there's a missing tooth right in the middle. That's the uh, root of the tooth that's left in the bone. We're gonna have to remove that in order to put our dental implant in. So after taking the 3D x-ray, I then took an impression of her mouth and we did this with our digital scanner and we were able to generate a 3D model of her teeth. And so the one nice part um, that this shows is it shows us where the gum tissue is and the gum tissue cannot be seen very well on the x-rays, uh, any type of x-rays. So uh, we can then merge this um, digital impression with the 3D x-ray and overlay them. And now we have all the information. We have the bone, we have the teeth, and we have the gum tissue. And then when we're planning this case, uh, we want to know where that tooth is and what it's going to look like. In this case, it's pretty easy because there's only one missing tooth. And you can digitally actually put a tooth in there uh, to see exactly you know, where the final prosthetic crown is going to be. And in this case, uh, after we re-cemented the crown, I then took an, um, a, you know, another impression of her, and we were just re-cementing that uh, as a temporary measure uh, until we could get her back to take the tooth out. So you see here, this is her tooth in place, and we can turn that on and off. And now we have an idea of where the, you know, the final crown is going to be. Lastly, uh, we can look at the patient's bite. So I scanned in a, a model of the patient's lower teeth as well. And now we have all the information that we're going to need to plan this case. From this view, this is a typical two dimensional view. This is actually a panoramic reconstruction and, uh, looks very similar to a regular um, dental panoramic radiograph and we can see where the tooth is missing right in front here and these three lines are centered right over it but this x-ray does not show us all the information we need it shows us the height it shows us the space in between the teeth but we need that third dimension and that's why we took the cbct this view shows us that third dimension. This is a cross section and we can see the root of the tooth here. And then all the available bone we have, um, 
around that root so that we can place our dental implant. So I'll put my dental implant right in there and this has already been planned out and you can see that fits nicely into the bone and we can always uh, change the angulation depending on uh, what we want, um, we know where the bone is and of course you know where the tooth is going to be. So I want to make sure that dental implant is in the correct position uh, for the crown. So we can see where that implant is coming out here uh, when there's no tooth, but really what's more important is to put the tooth in there and see where that dental implant is coming out uh, in terms of its angulation. And this is pretty much spot on. That's exactly where I want the dental implant to be coming out. And we can confirm that's in the right position in all our different views. We can spin around the implant here. This again just shows in three dimensions uh, you know, how close we are to adjacent structures, how close we are to the edge of the bone, how close we are to the floor of the nose. Uh, and in this case, it's, it's pretty straightforward. This patient has a lot of bone. I think it's going to be a great dental implant case. So this is just a typical workup um, for a dental implant. Uh, I think it's very important that we do this um, for every case because one, it, it makes us look at the case more, more closely and gives us just so much more information than we would ever have just taking a regular two-dimensional x-ray. You would never be able to uh, find out half this information with our, our regular standard dental x-rays. So I'm a huge believer in it and personally I wouldn't have a dental implant placed on myself without someone taking this 3D x-ray beforehand and planning everything out. Just because we can do it the old fashioned way with our regular 2D x-rays doesn't mean we should. I've never thought to myself, I wish I didn't have this 3D x-ray on this case. I really only needed a two dimensional x-ray, but there's many times before I had this technology where I thought, man, I really wish I could have a 3D x-ray of this tooth. Um, and before we had the machine in the office, we would have to send our patients out to have this scan done. Now we can do it uh, within a few minutes inside the office uh, very quickly, very efficiently. Um, and it just makes for a safer and, and more predictable treatment for our patient. So if you have any questions and you want to set up a free dental implant consultation, please give us a call, 781-934-9444.